Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on adding or subtracting two vectors written in column vector form. Now you may have previously encountered vectors when you looked at translation. Remember translation is when you move the shape from one place to another. So vectors describe movement and we can write a vector like this, so x, y. So it looks a bit like a coordinate, but the numbers go above each other. And what that top number means is what the change in x is in the movement. So is the x value increasing by three, etc., or going down by two? And the bottom value is the change in the y value. You can actually have vectors in three dimensions as well, but we're just gonna concentrate on two dimensions. So let's think about these two vectors. We've got A, which is 2, 3, and a vector we could represent as a line with an arrow on it to indicate the direction. So if this is A, 2, 3 means that the x value is increasing by 2, and the y value is increasing by 3. And then if we did a vector 4 minus 8 for B, that means the x value is increasing by 4, so the x value is increasing by 4, and the y value is decreasing by eight. So it's gonna go all the way down like this. And then say so B is going to be in this direction. Now, believe it or not, when you add two vectors together, that represents moving by A and then moving by B. So let's think overall, what would we have moved? Well, if the x value is increasing by two to get from here to here, and the x value is increasing by four to move from here to here, Overall, the x value is increased by 6. And then let's think about the y value, going from here to here, where the y value has gone up by 3, but then the y value has decreased by 8. Overall, it's gone down by minus 5. And the easy way to do this, if I write my vectors, 2, 3, and then I'm adding b, which is 4 minus 8, it's just simply a case of adding the top numbers, the x value, so 2 plus 4 is 6, and adding the y values, three plus minus eight is minus five. And that's exactly what we've got over here. And then similarly, when you subtract vectors, that's going to be two, three, because a is two, three. And we're subtracting b, which is four minus eight. And then all we need to do is just subtract the top numbers. So two minus four is minus two. And then let's be careful here, three minus negative eight, that becomes three plus eight. Remember when you subtract a negative, you end up adding it. Three plus eight is 11. So that would be the vector for A minus B.